Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to delete undeletable files or folders in Windows 11. Most of the time, this issue occurs because a file is in use by another program, but it can also be stuck in lock mode, or even a virus could be the cause. These methods should also work in older versions of Windows. In the first method, we try to delete a file by creating a file with the exact same name and extension. When you succeed in doing this, you can afterwards delete the file like normal. In my example, we can delete the file undeletable.txt. To start, click on the Windows search icon and search for Notepad. Click on Notepad. When it opens, enter a few random characters in it. Next, click on File in the top left corner and select the Save As option. Continue by navigating to the location of the undeletable file. Change the Save As type to All Files. For the file name, you need to enter the exact same name and extension as the original file that you want to delete. You can do this by clicking on the file. Before you save, you need to add quotation marks at the beginning and end of the file name. Click on the Save button. When you do this, you get a warning message that the file already exists. Of course, click on Yes to continue. With some luck, the undeletable file is replaced by the new file. You can now delete the new file as normal. In the next method, we delete a file by using force delete in command prompt. This works for most files, however, if you want to delete a folder, skip to the next method. Click on the Windows search icon and type in CMD. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. First, start by entering the following del space forward slash f space forward slash q. Del stands for delete, while F and Q stand for force and quiet. So basically it means to force delete something. Next navigate to the file in Windows Explorer. Right click on the file and select copy as path. Depending on your version, you might need to hold your shift key while you right click on the file. Switch back to command prompt. Hit the space key and right click in the window to paste the path. In my case it looks something like this. Hit the Enter key to enter the command. It might be that you need to refresh the folder where you deleted the file before the file visually disappears. If this didn't work, you can experiment a bit with the del command. Enter del space forward slash question mark in CMD and you get all of the options to use. For this method, we again use command prompt. This one is specifically to delete folders, so skip to the next method if you are trying to delete a file. Click on the Windows search icon and type in CMD. Right click on it and select to run it as administrator. In command prompt, enter the following rmdir space forward slash s space forward slash q. rmdir stands for remove directory, while s means that you want to delete the folder itself and all items in it, and q stands for quiet. Again, navigate to the folder that you want to delete in File Explorer. Right click on the folder and select copy as path. Switch back to command prompt. Hit the space key and right click in the window to paste. Hit the enter button to delete the folder. You might need to refresh before you actually see the folder disappear. In the next one, we try to solve the file is in use by another program issue. So it might be that you receive this message, but you already closed the program from the error message. Sometimes the program or process remains active in the background. In my example, I can't delete the file because it is being used by DaVinci Resolve software. This is just to simulate the problem. Right click on the Windows icon and select Task Manager. Start by searching in the App section if the file is in use by a software program. Right click on the program and select End Task. If you still can't delete the file, you can also check for background related processes. Sometimes it happens that the background process remains active while you already close the main application. If none of this works, reboot your PC before you continue to the next method. The next method is a short one, but it can work so I had to include it in this tutorial. We force delete a file or folder by using a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Most people have one of these softwares or an alternative. If you do not, I advise you to go to the WinRAR website and download and install the latest version of WinRAR. When you have the software, right click on the file that you want to delete and select Add to Archive. This opens the General Settings menu. Here you need to check the box next to Delete Files after Archiving. 
After that, click on OK. Hopefully, the file is now deleted. If not, continue to the last method. I avoid installing additional software when I can, but sometimes we run out of options. In the past, I've had a good experience with IOBit on Lugger. It's free and easy to use. Once you have installed and opened IOBit on Lugger, navigate to the file that you want to first delete. Simply drag and drop it into the Unlocker window. Check the box next to Forced Mode. This ensures that all related processes are closed. After that, click on Unlock. If IOBit Unlocker was successful in unlocking the file, you can now delete it as normal. Hopefully you were able to force delete the file or folder after watching this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.